and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Today we're taking a look at the Minix Neo Z64 Windows Edition. As you can see from the tiles, this is Windows 8.1, which means not only do you get Windows programs, there's also apps and the Windows App Store. So this is a different sort of ecosystem than we're used to dealing with on a TV connected device. But what this is, this is a full mini PC and it has all the advantages or you might say disadvantages that come with being a PC. I tend to think that they're good things. Now, what we've done here is we've set this up to be more of a media center. It's running a Plex server. It's running a Play On server. And of course, you also have some apps like Netflix. We have to download Kodi. We've got Plex Home Theater, which is great because it's free. And we also have Google Chrome. What I'm doing with Google Chrome is I have it set up to automatically open into the Google Chrome Web Store. So if you want to jump in and do something like use Voodoo, for instance, you add it to Chrome, you're done. Now we can access Voodoo through Chrome. And if you have digital movies that you have saved that you run through Chrome, you can run it through Voodoo, and you're good to go. Same goes for anything else. There's full-on apps. You know, there's the Star Wars movies everybody's been making such a big deal about. It's now available digitally. But this is a full Windows web browser. You might think, why would you even want to look at the web online? I know people. Yeah, I hear people say that, but you know the truth is that because this is a full web browser, that means that you can look at any website you want. You can use any video website. You don't have to worry about whether it has Flash or not. You just you, you have full reign. Gosh, UConn won another title. Whew. So, I like that feature. I like that you can go anywhere. You can go to Hulu.com and you can just use Hulu. No Hulu Plus. I like Hulu Plus, but you know, for someone who wants to save a little money, that's a really easy, simple way to save a bill. Now, what we're looking at right here is the Plex Home Theater. Plex Home Theater is the PC Plex app. It's been around for a while. You just download it directly from Plex and it allows you to access channels. These are user created channels. And as you see, there are multiple categories. You just add it, install, it'll probably say list empty. Give it a second. Oh boy, I hope that wasn't a copyright violation. Okay, list empty. channels and here we are but you see what Plex home theater is is it's the it's a it's a window like right now we're looking at what is installed on this little computer here but if you press channels just go to OK 
this is a bunch of Plex channels that I've got installed on another computer. More of the, the what I've used for the most part as my main Plex computer. So you says Toshiba. Well, this one says Minix. See? So it's accessing everything in the household here. So from this, using Plex Home Theater, you can access any Plex server. You can have a, a NAS or however you have it set up. I think this is a very attractive looking app. And it's one that works a lot better in Windows this way than when you have an Android device running the Android version of Plex. So we're going to get out of that, jump back into the tiles, take a look at Netflix. I pressed the wrong button. All right. Here we are in Netflix. This is a really nice looking Netflix app. It's a whole wall of movies. I've gotten used to using Netflix on devices like Roku and the Fire TV. So I really haven't dealt with the Windows interface all that much. But I think this is really nice. It's a whole wall of movies. Select. Get her started. And here we are. 30 for 30. If you are a big sports fan, 30 for 30 is just a treasure trove. But we'll stop that there jump out of Netflix and I'm gonna show you Cody here now Cody you have to download this doesn't come preloaded with Cody the way that some systems do I, on the box it has XBMC written on the side I mean I guess they're trying to say and this can run XBMC I mean of course it can it's a Windows program something that we've done here that I think is cool is I have a play on server installed on this machine. And so play on if you're unfamiliar with it is another server that has channels and what it does is all of the channels that you see listed here coincide with websites. It's helpful for people who want to use XBMC or Cody but still enjoy apps that you don't have to you know mess around with too much it's a really great way to take a look at Hulu in an easy to operate interface without having to go directly there via a website for instance and since there isn't a Hulu Plus app for XBMC, or even a working Hulu app, I find that this is a good workaround. XBMC, after all, was, I mean, originally just kind of a media interface for your own media, and then later on, internet apps. So this takes it back to its roots a little bit. I think it looks real nice. Now I haven't mentioned it before, but what I'm using to navigate this computer here is a, in my case, a house bell mini keyboard. You're going to need some sort of an external keyboard. Some people use full keyboards. Like I said, the mini keyboard works for me. I mean, it's got a mouse. It's got all the buttons that are necessary. It's even got video playback control. I'm going to show you. Should have just launched one of these guys. Let's see. Let's just say Daybreak. Why not? It's the one right in front of me. Full episodes. 
episodes. And you'll see as it starts in a second, we're going to be able to control it using the XBMC or Kodi interface. And that's really helpful. The show's got a lot of stuff available. As you see, this is accessing shows from ABC. I have not seen Empire. Here it's really good. But, as you see, this looks very good. sure who doesn't mind their commercial being on okay so show starting and now you see here is all of the controls for the show so we're just going ahead and stop that but that's a little about play on and how it works through Cody on the system This is a full version of XBMC. I keep saying XBMC, force of habit. But right now all I have installed is the basic repository that comes along with it, the XBMC.org repository. But I'll just show you it moves relatively quickly. Let's say we want to add this CBS News. Downloading. Boop, boop. And we're done. Back out. Go to CBS News Live. And it loads. Billy Holiday. And we got it. Tributes reporting in today to celebrate what would have been Billy Holiday's 100th birthday. Lady Day, she was known, was born Eleanor Fagan on April and 7th. That's a really great picture. Her career was marked by equal parts personal tragedy really great and musical triumph. But John Blackstone tells us how one... That shows you a little bit about what XPMC looks like on here. You can add anything you want. As anything else, go to settings. This is running Helix because it was the latest thing when I went to the programs. But in order to get it, you just have to go to Cody.org. But I think we all know what Cody is. But overall, there is a lot of potential in a machine like this. I enjoy being able to run so many different server programs on this. It makes it very versatile. You can hook up uh, the hard drives to it in order to extend storage. You can run a variety of different keyboards on it. What you can't do is use an air mouse typically. But in general, I think this is a pretty cool product to work with. I remember when you know, all the techies like me had big computers hooked up to their TV, and some of you guys still do, but having something small, this is about palm-sized, this is fun, and I think it's a very nice option for anybody who's looking to build a simple media center that doesn't require too high end a graphics performance. You wouldn't want to make this into a gaming PC, although it can run games. But that is the Z64 Windows Edition. I hope this video, this video was helpful. If you thought so, please subscribe. 
share this along with the other things that we're working on. We're trying to make this easy for everybody to understand and have a little fun. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.